Good afternoon, one and all. I am Arvi Kiran, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today, in this video lecture, I am going to explain you about the third model problem on CAMS. And this is my 42nd lecture regarding to the subject kinematics of machinery. So, in the previous class, we have discussed about the knife edge follower with a So knife edge follower with the simple harmonic motion and this is the displacement diagram for that and today in class we are going to discuss about the roller follower. So in the first two problems we have seen the knife edge follower and to, in today's problem we are going to see the roller follower with the simple harmonic motion. So the motion is the simple harmonic motion. So let us see this. First study the problem carefully. So a cam with a minimum radius of 25 mm rotating at a uniform speed is to be described or designed to give you a roller follower at the end of a wall rod which is the motion describes below so the motion it has to be described below so they have given the full information in these points to raise the wall so that is the outstroke to raise the wall through 50 mm, that is the lift of the follower or stroke of the follower, which is 50 mm, during 120 degrees rotation of the cam. So it has 120 degrees rotation for the outstroke. And next, to keep the fully wall would raise to next 30 degrees. Fully raised wall means to keep it in the dwell period so to keep it in a dwell period and next to lower the wall during next 60 degrees then we have to return to stroke then we have to take it that is to the next 60 degrees and next to keep the wall closed during the rest of the revolution that is 150 degrees so to keep the it in the dual period for the next 150 degrees. So these are the given information. So the diameter of the roller is 20 mm and the diameter of the camshaft is 25 mm. Draw the profile of the cam when the line of stroke of the wall rod passes through the axis of the camshaft that is it is passes through the axis of camshaft and second one they have asked the line of stroke is offset so they have given the second type that is offset model also which is of 10 mm 
from the axis of camshaft. The displacement of the valve while being raised and lowered is to be takes place with simple harmonic motion. So the motion of the follower is simple harmonic motion. Determine the maximum acceleration of the valve rod when the camshaft rotates at 100 rpm. So they have given the speed also as 100 rpm. And next draw the displacement diagram and the velocity diagram and the acceleration diagram for on complete revolutions of the cam. So they have asked the all displacement diagram that is displacement diagram and the velocity diagram and the acceleration diagram for on complete revolution of the cam. So this is the given data they have given. So this is the given data. So from this given data, you have to draw the displacement diagram. So these are the given data. So this is the about the stroke and lift. And next one is the 30 degrees to the dual period. And next 60 degrees to the return stroke. And next remaining 150 degrees for the dual period. So they have given the diameter of the roll as 20 mm. So in the roller follower, we need to draw the roller diameter of the roller. That is 20 mm. And the diameter of the camshaft is 25 mm. So diameter of the camshaft is also given that is 25 mm. They have asked the two variables that is the which is passing through the camshaft that is follower is passing through the camshaft and next one is the line of stroke is offset by 15 mm. So the line of stroke is offset by 15 mm from the axis of camshaft. So from these given data, we are going to draw the displacement diagram. So first we need to draw the simplest form of the displacement diagram, which is having the simple harmonic motion as the motion and with the roller following. So in the first displacement diagram, you does not need the information about the follower. You only need to be the, know about the motion of the follower that is simple harmonic motion. So in the problem they have given it directly simple harmonic motion so the displacement of the valve is to take place with simple harmonic motion so we need to draw the all the diagrams that is displacement diagram velocity diagram and acceleration diagram so this is the given data So they have given the 50 mm as the lift that is S is equal to 50 mm that is 0 0.05 meters and next theta of O that is angle for the outstroke that is 120 degrees and we have taken it into radians also converted it to radians that is 2.1 radians 
and theta for the return stroke that is angle for the return stroke is 60 degrees we have obtained as 1.047 and speed they have given as 100 rpm and later in the problem we are going to convert it into omega that is the angular velocity So first we have to draw the displacement diagram from this information. So this is the displacement diagram. So we need to first draw the rectangle. So we have to create a rectangle in which the process have been same from the previous model also. So we have to draw a rectangle with the height that is ay as line of stroke that is 50 mm and the length as 360 mm so we are uh, taking the sortable scale so here we are taking it in the sortable scale so i am taking it as 1 cm is equal to 10 degrees so the total line represents the 360 degrees of that is one complete revolution of the cam so thereby we are converting it into centimeters so 360 degrees is converted into 36 centimeters in which the scaling is 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degrees and thereby we are going to divide it into four sections first one is the outstroke which consists of 120 degrees second one is the dwell period which is of 30 degrees third section is of return stroke which is of 60 degrees and the final section is dual period which is of remaining 150 degrees so in the previous problem i have explained that how to draw a simple harmonic motion so first of all we need to draw the semicircle so this is the semicircle which we have to draw so from the height of 50 mm take the center point and draw the semicircle and divide it into six equal parts so draw, divide the semicircle into six equal parts and name it as a b c d e So, after drawing the semicircle, divide the outstroke length that is 120 degrees. So, 120 degrees we are going to take as 12 centimeters because 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degrees. 120 degrees is equal to 12 centimeters. So, divide the outstroke section into 6 equal parts in which we have divided the semicircle. So, the number of parts equal to the semicircle divided parts. So thereby we have to draw the vertical lines for the divided sections that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So these are the vertical lines in which you have divided the outstroke to 6 equal parts. Then extend the line from the points of the divided semicircle so this semicircle nunchi divide chesam kada so points nunchi horizontal ga lines draw cheyandi so draw the horizontal lines from the divided points of the semicircle to intersect the divided lines of outstroke so they will intersect at so the point a will intersect at one that is b at the first point and small b line intersected capital C point in the second line. 
and small c at d, capital D at capital E, small e at capital F. So these are the intersection points. So by using a freehand curve, join all those points from A to G, which you can see in the pink color line. So then divide the outstroke and next. The dwell period is taken as the straight line, which it has no deviations. And then we have to divide these return stroke also into same number of equal parts as the outstroke at the semicircle. So then we have to intersect this line in the same pattern of the outstroke. So extend this line and we have the J, K, L, M, N and P lines and they are join those points with a freehand curve. So and then the remaining period will be dual period which indicates the simple straight line. So you have to notate the points. So in this problem they have given as valve raised and valve lowered. So the similar names for it is outstroke and the return stroke in which it has two dual periods and the angles also have to be represented in the displacement diagram. So this is the displacement diagram and next we need to draw the profile of the cam when the lift of the, the, the line of the stroke valve rod passes through the axis of the camshaft. So that is the displacement diagram which you have to be drawn as the first diagram in the cam problems.
from the given data. So next we have to draw the cam profile. So first of all, first of all you have to draw the cam shaft. This is the cam shaft in which it has a 25 mm diameter. So the diameter of the cam shaft is taken as 25 mm and divide this cam shaft. So this is we can divide this cam shaft. So in the problem they have given the diameter as 25 mm but we have to take the it as a radius so we have drawn the 25 mm radius circle then from the connection point that is this is the starting point we have to draw the cam circle. So this is the cam circle here. Sorry, polar, polar, roller polar circle. The roller polar has the diameter of 20 mm. So draw the roller polar diameter as 20 mm, which touches the camshaft at this point. Then divide the first 120 degrees. So up to here 90, so up to here 120 degrees. So these are the outstroke points. So that are the outstroke points. So divide the 120 degrees into six number of equal parts because we have divided the outstroke as six number of equal parts. So they, here we are also dividing the into same number of equal parts for consideration. Then divide six equal parts and note the points as one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then go to the displacement diagram. So take the length from one to three. So go take the length from first point to B, that is one to B. With the use of compass from the first point. So this is the first point. So this is the first point. So from those points in this divided line, you have to cut this arc. So this is the cut arc. So that is the intersection arc. Then take it in the similar way, take the similar way, so that is 2 to C and 3 to D, 
फोर टू ई एंड फाइव टू एम सो टू टू सी थ्री टू डी फोर टू ई फाइव टू एम सो फ्रॉम दिस सेकंड पॉइंट टेल द टू टू सी एंड कट दोस एट दिस लाइन सो वी हैव ऑप्टेड द सी पॉइंट हियर एंड नेक्स्ट सिमिलरली फॉर द रिमेनिंग पोजीशंस आल्सो in the same procedure cut those arcs so we have obtained the points d e f and g so this is the free hand curve so this is the free hand curve that is in the pink color you have to draw after the obtaining of points So draw these points. So that is for the out stroke. So for the out stroke, one twenty degrees, we are going to draw this curve. And next is the dwell period, which contains thirty degrees. So thirty degrees for the dwell period. So from this point, using a protractor, take thirty degrees in the circle. So take thirty degrees, and with radius as O G. so with radius as og by using a compass draw a curve from g to h so draw a curve from g to h so this is the not the free hand curve this is the curve drawing by using the compass next the return stroke period that is of 60 degrees so from this 30 degrees ending line we have to divide the 60 degrees into same number of six equal parts that is six equal parts so from the same procedure in the return stroke this is the return stroke displacement diagram so from we have to take the length 1 dash to j so first one is the 1 dash to j we are taking the same so 1 dash to j so by cutting here we obtain the point j next in the similar fashion 2 dash to k 3 dash to l 4 dash to m 5 dash to n so the similar points have been taken as lengths and cut those points in the extended lines cut those points in the extended lines then draw the free hand curve from h point to p point so from the point p from the h point to p point we draw the free hand curve which is you have seen in the pink color so from this line remaining period is the dwell period so draw the dwell period curve in the base circle line only by thick color by using the hb pencil thick dark line is used to represent this dwell period in the base circle so this is the procedure for drawing the cam profile which is the follower axis is in the line of the cam shaft but in the roller follower for every point of division that is for the out stroke and the return stroke you have to draw the circle of the roller follower so here they can representing it with the circle only you can see that that is the only difference to the remaining followers 
in the knife edge parlor you are only drawing the points only that is the tip of the follower touches the cam shaft only but here the roller the roller is used to roll in the curve so that is why for every point we are going to draw the circles so in total ton circles has to be drawn for the six outstroke points and six return stroke points so this is the procedure for drawing the cam profile see it for a while for the better understanding purpose so that is the procedure for drawing the cam profile which is in the axis of the cam shaft so next we have to draw the offset profile so offset is the distance which is from the center of the camshaft so this is the center of the camshaft from this you have to draw this length that is they have given the offset as 50 mm so that is the distance between the camshaft that is 50 mm so by taking the offset from the cam shaft axis so that is of 15 mm so from here you have to take the distance as 15 mm and then to the vertical line in which the roller is used to touch the base circle so from here you have to start the procedure as we have did in the cam profile so last cam profile lo same procedure ni offset lo isukovalam offset ante cam shaft axis nunchi pakkakunde distance ni offset anukuntam so a follower anedi manaki pakkakochi manam chustunnam kada draw cheyal kabatti then offset anta a distance ni kuda icharu 15 mm
so then we are going to take the same procedure as we have done in the cam profile so firstly we have to take the outstroke angle as 120 degrees then divide the it into six equal parts then extend these lines with these points and then take the length in the displacement diagram so then take the length in the displacement diagram and draw the arcs then draw the freehand curve so this is the freehand curve from here we have to draw up to g next is the 30 degrees dwell period so this is the dwell period from there you have to take the center of the distance to g and draw an arc by using compass So then take the retum stroke that is six equal parts. Then divide it into six equal parts and take the length from the displacement diagram. Then remaining period is the dwell period, which is to be drawn on the base circle. So you have to draw the pink color line. So I have indicated it with a pink color line, but in the university exam, you have to draw it with the HB pencil. By using the HB pencil, you have to draw dark, which represents the cam profile line. So that is of the offset side. And this is the procedure for the offset profile. So what are the points we have to draw and what are the procedure we have to draw. So this is the procedure for the offset cam profile. Then they have asked about the maximum acceleration of the valve rod with the angular velocity. That is, we have to draw the velocity diagram and the acceleration diagram. So, firstly, they have given the speed as 100 rpm, that is capital N. So, from the capital N, we have to find the angular velocity that is omega. So we have the formula omega is equal to 2 pi n by 60. So this is the formula that is 2 pi n by 60. So we have to substitute the n value in the formula that is 100 
we have obtained as 10.47. So the obtained value is 10.47 radians per second. So by substituting all the values, we got it as 10.47 radians per second. Then we have to take the maximum velocity of the wall rod, which is in the rising position, that is the rise wall, which is considered as outstroke. So there, velocity for the outstroke is taken as pi into omega into s by 2 into theta of o. So that is the formula. So this is velocity for the outstroke, that is O means outstroke. So the formula for the simple harmonic motion. So this for the simple harmonic motion. Pi into omega we have calculated, it is 10.47. And as is the stroke of the follower, which is 50 mm, we have converted it into meters, that is 0 0.05. Divided by 2 into theta of O. So that is theta for outstroke, angle for the outstroke. We have divided it into uh, converted it into radians, that is 2.1 radians. So by substituting all the values, we have got 0 0.39 meters per second. So the maximum velocity for the outstroke is 0 0.39 meters. So in the same pattern, we are going to find the maximum velocity for the return stroke also. So the formula for the maximum velocity for the return stroke is Vr is equal to pi into omega t s by 2 into theta of r. So by substituting the values, we got 0 0.785 meters per second. So that is for the velocity of return stroke, that is V of R. And this is for the velocity of out stroke. Next, the velocity diagram have to be constructed. Then we have to find the maximum acceleration for the outstroke and return stroke also. First thing for the outstroke, that is acceleration for the outstroke, that is maximum acceleration for the outstroke is acceleration of O is taken as pi square into omega square s by 2 into theta of O whole square. So that is the formula. From that, Therefore, pi square into omega square, that is 10.47. So we have substituting all the points. Therefore, we got 6.13 meters per second square, which is the acceleration per outstroke. Acceleration for the outstroke. Then we have to find the lower value, that is return stroke also. Formula is acceleration for the return stroke. They are is equal to pi square omega square s by 2 into theta of r whole square. By substituting all the values, we got the value 24.67 meters per second. So this is for the acceleration for return stroke. That is lower the wall.
So from these four points, we have to draw the acceleration diagram and the velocity diagram. So firstly, we have to draw the velocity diagram. So first we have to draw the velocity diagram from the displacement diagram. So this is the displacement diagram which we have drawn in the earlier. Next we used to draw the velocity diagram. So velocity diagram, velocity of outstroke that is V of O is obtained as 0 0.39 meters per second. So for the simple harmonic motion we have to draw the loops only. So this is the outstroke period. So in that outstroke period, you have to draw the loop like this, which represents 0 0.39 meters per second. So the value for the outstroke is, the velocity for the outstroke is 0 0.39 meters only. So we have to represent it. Next, velocity for the return stroke, it is 0 0.785 meters. So for the, from the baseline, you have to draw in the downward direction that is below the loop below the baseline it is 0 0.785 meters per second and next one for the acceleration diagram take a line as the baseline and we have got acceleration of the outstroke as 6.13 meters per second square so take the height as 6.13 in the outstroke period draw the half loop from the to the center and then the half loop to the other center so that is the procedure for drawing the acceleration diagram in the simple harmonic motion next acceleration for the return stroke is obtained as 24.67 meters per second so this is to be drawn as like this that is 24.67 loop has been taken like this so the values as taken in the simple only, that is not in the graphical or any other measurable element. So we have to draw in a simple manner, not in the scalable manner. So simple ga, a value represent just to draw chay anna. So that is the velocity and acceleration diagram. So they have given the, asked the, velocity and acceleration diagrams only for these diagram. So this is the solution for the given diagram. So thereby I am ending this class. Thank you.